We will hear news of India's more active engagement with Ukraine, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell said in an interview with the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. According to him, India intends to play a responsible role on a global scale, end of quote. In turn, the Indian embassy in Washington commenting on Kurt Campbell's statement referred to the words of the Indian Foreign Minister, who said that New Delhi planned to have more contacts with both Kyiv and Moscow. You know, we, uh, from the very beginning, had the view that use of force does not resolve problems between countries. And uh, in the last two and a half years, as this conflict has deepened, it has cost lives, it has done economic damage, it has had global consequences. I mean, uh, if you look uh, at parts of Asia and Africa and Latin America, it has actually impacted uh, other societies. It has created food shortages, it has raised energy costs, it has created fertilizer supply problems, it has contributed to global inflation. In some cases, it has even directly triggered economic crisis in countries. Earlier, Indian media reported that Prime Minister Narendra Modi was considering visiting Kyiv in August for the first time since the start of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine. As the Japan Times writes, Asia is actively seeking to resolve the war in Ukraine through negotiations. Moreover, not only China but also India is increasingly seeking the role of a mediator, especially after Prime Minister Modi was sharply criticized by the West for his visit to Moscow in early July, Japanese journalists note. In particular, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken emphasized the importance of a just peace for Ukraine and expressed concern about India's relations with Russia. At the same time, New Delhi refers to its long-standing ties with Moscow and economic benefits. Modi is in a difficult position. He must avoid alienating his partners in the West and maintain long-standing relations with Russia, all the while competing with China for leadership in the global south. Should the trip to Kyiv take place, Modi will likely reiterate his support for resolving the war through diplomacy. Sebastian Maslow, expert on international relations at the University of Tokyo, in a comment to the Japan Times. In June, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India held talks in Italy during the G7 summit. The leaders discussed bilateral relations as well as preparations for the upcoming Global Peace Summit in which India is scheduled to participate. According to the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry, preparations for the visit of Indian Prime Minister to Ukraine are currently underway. Reported by Pavlo Stelmach, Kristina Dombrovska, UETV News.